Okay, I'm going to work a couple problems with you to help you with your worksheet. So the first one is going to be, what is the wavelength of radiation with a frequency of 8 times 10 to the 14th hertz? So step one in your equations is to figure out what equation you're going to use and manipulate it to solve for your variable. We know that we're not going to use E equals H times V because it doesn't say anything about energy. So we need to find an equation that we're going to use that has a relationship between the frequency and the wavelength. So we're going to use the speed of light equals the wavelength times the frequency. We need to solve to get wavelength all by itself. So we divide each side by V, which gives us this equation. Step two is to plug in your known values and what you've been given. So we know that the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters. And we've been given the frequency as 8 times 10 to the 14th. And now step 3 is to solve. So if my math is right, that gives us 3.75 times 10 to the negative 17th. Step 4 is to check your units and then circle your answer. So our units here would be meters. Okay. So the next problem I'm going to do is what is the wavelength of electromagnetic carrier wave transmitted by the sports fan radio station of a frequency of 640 hertz? So again, we're going to use this equation. We're going to solve for lambda. Plug in our knowns to step two. And our frequency is 640 hertz. Step three, solve. And that's going to give us 4.69 times 10 to the fifth. Step four, check your units and circle. Okay, step three, question three, sorry. A helium laser emits a light with a wavelength of 633 nanometers. What is the frequency of light? So again, it doesn't say anything about energy. It doesn't give us energy. So we're going to use the equation again. C equals lambda V. So we're going to solve for V. Now, when you're solving this problem, you've got to remember that you have to change nanometers to meters, and that's simply by adding 10 to the negative 9th. So then we have 3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 633 times 10 to the negative 9th, and that's going to give us 4.74 times 10 to the 14th. That's step three, and step four is to put in the right units, which is hertz. Just for a quick review, wavelengths has to be in meters, and hertz, or 1 over s, or s to the negative 1, is going to be for frequency. Okay, problem four. Calculate the energy. So what is the energy? of a photon of radiation with a frequency of 8.5 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So here it's a pretty straightforward thing. We want to know the energy and we've been given the frequency. So now it's just plug in and solve and do our units. So we have 6.6262 times 10 to the negative 34 times 8.5 times 10 to the 14th, and that's going to give us 5.63 times 10 to the negative 9th. And remember that the unit for energy is joules. On your worksheet, it gives you E volts, and if it does give you E volts in a problem, you'll have to change it to joules with the conversion factor that's listed up there. Last question. 
what is the energy of light whose wavelength is? So we're looking for energy. And we've been given the wavelength as 4.06 times 10 to the negative 11th meters. We know since they're talking about energy that we're going to use the base equation E equals H times V. The problem is we haven't been given V in our problem stem. But we know that we have this equation that has a relationship between the wavelength frequency and the speed of light. And since we know the speed of light and we know the wavelength, we can solve for V. So we're going to divide each side by wavelength. And that's going to give us this equation. And we plug in what we know. Oops, that can't be right. Eight here, sorry. Wasn't paying attention. Believe that or not. Okay, and that's going to give us 7.39 times 10 to the 18th. Now, some of you guys are going to get, and girls are going to get in a hurry, put hertz here, circle it, and think you're done. Well, that's not what the question asks you. You have to oh, go back to the question stem. What is the energy? So now we have V, and we can plug it back into this equation. So we have E equals H times V. Plug in what we know, 6.6262 times 10 to the negative 34 times 7.39 times 10 to the 18th, which is our frequency. And that gives us 4.9 times 10 to the negative 15th. Step four, put in your right unit. Energy is joules and circle your answer.